topic we're going to talk about is coolant flush. Why do them? What does it do if I don't do them? And yeah. Probably thinking, is that the green stuff? Ethylene glycol? Yes, it is. All right, so what is coolant exactly? Coolant actually helps your vehicle keep from freezing. You're supposed to mix it 50 50. Well, you don't have to mix it 50 50. There's a little chart on the back that shows you how to mix it depending on what climate you actually live in. Have you ever noticed that? Um, there's these things called freeze plugs on the side of engines and it's actually designed that when your block gets so cold and say that the freezing system has been neglected um, these freeze plugs will actually explain out and that's hence the name freeze plugs they're there to actually save your block yeah it's a pain in the butt uh, to put them back in but you should probably have maintenance your car a little bit better so, like, what happens when I neglect it? It turns to acid. Hey, what does the green stuff do? Pop quiz, ready? What does the green stuff do in a car? Uh... The liquid stuff, you know? I haven't told it her anything. Go. It makes it go. What happens when you don't? change the green stuff it doesn't go it doesn't go she has no idea what i'm talking about good job there you have it my four-year-old daughter has the whole idea what happens when you neglect stuff when you don't change it it turns into uh, basically like acidic and it starts to eat um, at all your components your bearings your seals uh, for your water pump itself um, hoses etc every last gasket that's affiliated inside of your whole engine everything it's critical because the agents are actually put in the uh, uh, ethylene glycol itself um, to uh, stop that is what it is and eventually everything does break down so here we are this is my Ford Fusion it is 2011 there you go I'm on the uh, driver's side just loosen that little red cap. You can kind of see how it's already wet. I uh, loosened it just a moment ago. Make sure you comply with your local um, disposal codes for toxic waste, etc. So in short, what we're going to do is we're going to drain all the coolant out. Then we're going to put just simply water in it. We're going to let the engine warm up and run the on high for 10 minutes at a minimum. If you wanted to do this a second time before putting this additive or this uh, mixture or whatever in it, you're more than welcome to do that. It just makes it that much more cleaner. So secondly, on the next go around when you basically fill it up on the second, uh, time uh, it says that we are to run it for three to six hours normal driving conditions and it's also critical that we do not let it drop below 32 degrees because you have no ethylene glycol in order to prevent your engine block from freezing up and then the third time when you put it in that will be your mix 50 50 half water half ethylene glycol the green stuff all right so here we are first cup on the left is the original that's what came out of it surprise it actually looks pretty nice. Now this is a special, um, it's the modern version, special version of uh, Ford's, um, Ford's coolant. It's uh, just dark green coolant is, is what it is. There's different stuff they add into it, uh, but I'm not gonna get into that. Middle is the same color. This coolant, again, looks really nice. Then we have the third one. This is ran with the uh, cleaner. And the thing, I don't know if you can see it, but this one actually does look a little bit more cloudy compared to this one. I don't know if you can see that or not. But you notice how it almost looks like cloudy. Then you jump over this one and it has more of a pure look. Never mind the, the contaminants that are on the top of the water. That was just from the pan that I used to put the coolant in. It just looks so much cleaner. or Well, excuse me. It looks more um, light, like it's cloudy versus the other cups. And again, this is the cleaner cup that I put the cleaner in with the system, so. So with this, uh, with doing a coolant changes, 
always check with uh, your car's owner manual and if that's not good enough or you can't find it, don't have it, whatever, check with your uh, local, um, either O'Reilly's, Advance, Auto, Napa, or whatever, whoever you prefer to use. And uh, their system will tell you what your car is supposed to run off of. You notice my Ford Fusion said it wants the uh, green coolant. Um, again, I checked with uh, my local parts store and their system said uh, this would be fine. It can either be green or the orange. Sure enough, I checked the back of it and it is compatible uh, with this car. Subscribe, I might make more videos.